Here we found that LDL and ApoB exposure was not a significant predictor of changes in plaque, whereas all baseline plaque metrics, including a CAC score, were significant predictors of changes in plaque. Yeah, this short clip is so powerful and potentially impactful for people everywhere who are following a ketogenic diet and ketogenic interventions and improving their health, whether it's metabolic health, mental health, autoimmune conditions, there's so many impacts that people have seen from ketogenic diets. But if their LDL goes up, it's an automatic assumption that that high LDL puts them at significant risk for heart disease. But what Nick is saying, based on their study that was just published, that's not the case, that there was not this association between the elevated LDL and the risk of coronary plaque as measured by high resolution scans, but rather it was the existence of plaque already that predicted future plaque. So, so what does all this mean? It sounds a little confusing, but what it means is for those people who had dramatically high LDL, it's not the LDL that predicts the progression or the existence of coronary disease. So the workup of these individuals based on this study probably shouldn't be these blood tests, right? Because you frequently hear your LDL is elevated, you have to stop the keto diet, you have to go on LDL lowering medications. This study would suggest maybe that's not the case. So instead, perhaps these individuals should be talking to their doctor about getting imaging studies like a calcium score, or even if they can, a CT angiogram, because it was that plaque that predicted coronary disease not LDL. This is potentially groundbreaking research for those people seeing benefits from a ketogenic diet, but having elevated LDL.